Welcome back for my final morning report analysis video with me, which is Paramarket Analyst at Handtech on uh, Friday the 12th of July, looking at gold. Now, the um, analysis on gold is increasingly choppy. It's increasingly difficult to really um, say on a daily basis, um, given the fact that the market has been so up and down in recent weeks. Um, you can see the fact that uh, we're actually in a trading range now, I believe, 1381 up to 13, uh, sorry, sorry, to 1439. Um, again, another strong bull candle on Wednesday, followed by a retracement move, similar to the one we saw back a couple of weeks ago. So just the bulls cannot get any real traction in this. And there is an, an edge lower, a, a drift, a negative drift on these momentum indicators. RSI back under 60 would be edging to more of a corrective move within this range but for now I think we've just got to take this as a consolidation really. Yes it is a pretty wide consolidation 1381 up to th um, 39 is around about sort of 50 odd 50, 50, 55 bucks of, uh, of trading range area but it's just not really finding traction and you can see that in the hourly chart here. Um, oscillating bet uh, below from below 30 on the hourly RSI to above 70 um, fairly consistently moving to overbought to oversold that is fairly much of a range bound scenario within that I'm still looking at 1400 as a bit of a, a near term pivot floor and also um, increasingly or just edged above it a little bit intraday today you're looking at I think 1410 being a bit of a pivot area of resistance. So you've got that in place. Now, 1410, move above that, and you're looking at 1426, which was a uh, reaction high from yesterday before rolling over again. But you look at the fact that moving averages are fairly flat on the hourly, fairly much neutrally configured on the MACD lines, RSI. A little bit of a tick higher on the MACD, a bit of a tick higher on the stochastics reflects um, the bulls getting back into a little bit of a, a more of a buying um market today but for now i don't think you can really take too much direction out of gold um, until you start to sort of breach this uh, these key resistance levels really um, as i said if you see rsi sort of holding above 60 you're sort of edging more towards a positive bias below 60 i think you start to edge to more of a corrective bias within the range because effectively you're pretty much mid-range now and um, looking for the next signal. So um, with that in mind, I wish you good luck in the trading for gold for the rest of this week. And I will speak to you again next week. Sign up to my uh, daily trading webinars on our website and also subscribe to my videos. And I will speak to you later.